I play your indie games on itch. Coming up. I get killed by space robots. Oh, now my pistol's overheating. Oh dear, 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 dear. Oh my goodness. I experiment with some upgrades. Okay, well let's put this level to... Whoa. Look at the size of that. That is beautiful. And I fly around in a chicken-shaped spaceship. Does it mean, or does that look like a chicken? That looks like a chicken, right? Comment below. A chicken holding a water balloon. All right, welcome back to another episode of I Play Your Itch Games. Your indie games, your itch games, whatever games you want, just send them, click the link in the description, click the link in the comments, send me your game and I will play it. Today we'll be playing three more games. The first one is by Pact1000. It's called Crazy FPS. This is an FPS where you get a pistol and a sniper to fight robots. Your main objective is to kill all robots. Kill all humans. Must kill all humans. If you get lucky with your kills, you might get some fun new game elements. Well, nice to know that I'm relying on pure luck to see those elements. Controls. There's a control menu you can reach in game by pressing tab. Good to know. Tip. If you're stuck in an endless loop of killing the final boss, then try going around and killing all his minions. That'll get him mad and ready to fight. Well, thanks for the tip. Okay, let's give it a go. Run the game. Controls. Movement. Shoot left. Aim down sights, probably for the sniper. Right click. Switch weapon number keys. Sprint shift. There seems to be a lot of things to learn. Crouch, C, a lot of different buttons. I'd rather have a, a playable section that shows me these one at a time. But let's see how many I can remember. Crouch is C. Jump is space bar. Okay, aim. That's quite smooth. What's that? Do I kill that thing? My thing's gone red, so I guess I shoot it. What are all those little dots up there? Presumably the enemy. I like the navigation. Nice moon. Nice planet. Surrounded by moons and planets. Oh dear. Oh my word. Okay. And I get a bit of health back. Nice. That's very smooth so far. I like it. Very good. Very simple, but the controls are very smooth. Yeah. In your face, buddy. Uh, what was it? Tab. Okay, pause menu. Can I see the controls again? Controls show. Here we go. Oh, I can sprint with shift, switch weapons, Q and E, or number key, number keys, or Q and E. Oh, okay. Okay, nice. So I've got a sniper. This is my sniper, right? And that's my pistol. Why can't I shoot again? Okay, the gun overheats. Is that is that what it's doing? I think I prefer the pistol. I mean, what's the benefit of the sniper? I mean, it's... I mean, the pistol seems to be doing just a good a job. And I like the fact that I get health back, although maybe it makes it a bit too easy. And I can hold... Sh oh, okay, there's way okay, there's ways I can go. Do I have to kill everything? Oh, and I can use the mouse wheel to scroll between weapons. Nice. Yeah, the, the sniper rifle's terrible because you can't kill something with one hit. All it does is alert the thing to where you are. Oh, now my pistol's overheating. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Oh, my goodness. What happened? Okay. Okay. I need to get better acquainted to my guns. I didn't realize my pistol could overheat. Oh, and I've got to collect the sniper rifle. It seems a bit pointless having it just there because you're going to get it every time. You may as well just start the person with it. Okay, did I snipe that thing? I guess it said, didn't it, if I'm lucky with my aim, then... Oh, well, I can take these out one at a time. Okay, well that changes things. I have to shoot them in the top part of the head though. Well, it makes it a bit too easy now. 
Oh dear. Blimey, that thing's fast. Let's go and get this health. It's a good job the health doesn't disappear. Okay, let's try the sniper thing again. Oh dear. Well, that was easier. It seems a little bit random. Don't need the health. Okay, so I can get out of sight. Okay. So it, there's a range on it. It can't get me. I can finish it off with a sniper right in the eyeball. Come here. Right in the eyeball. There it is. In your eyeball, buddy. Don't need the health. I seem to be doing a lot better this time. Snipe him in the eyeball again. Oh dear. That just annoyed him. Where's my other gun? He's not coming towards me. The other guys were running towards me. Okay. Okay, so he can shoot me, but as long as I keep moving, I should be alright. Okay, well that seems fine. I've cleared the room. Let's see what's in the next room. Okay, I got hit, but I can go back and collect one of these. I haven't even been using the map up there. Should I be using the map? Okay, are these the ones I can take out with a sniper rifle? Are there three different sites? What's this? Why are there different colour squares on the floor? Okay, what's in here? Yeah, I feel I feel vulnerable using the sniper rifle because I know it's only got one shot before it goes into that weird kind of overheat mode. If I go down there, can I come back up? There seems to be more robots down there. And then just hide. He's not going to chase me down. Seems a bit easy just to be able to stand back here and shoot him. Okay, he's gone. What's this thing at the end here? Do I need to do I need to worry about these? Can I shoot that? Doesn't really matter. And I've got to jump up here. What's on the table? Okay, I think I have to go down the I have to go down the slopey bit. I'll go down with my pistol equipped. Oh I can come back up if I want to. Oh they remember where I am. Okay, that wasn't too hard. There's more health here. Oh dear. Okay, so that's the boss. Let's take out the minions, like they said. I can snipe this one right in the back. There you go. Didn't even see me coming. Okay. So I've got to run round. Okay, so I can... My gun's overheating. Good job. Okay, here we go. Now he can't get me, but I can get him. I think I found a sweet spot. Snipe him. I don't think I'm allowed to stand here, but I'm going to do it. Because, you know, if the game allows it. Let's take him right down to next to no health, and then I'll go fight him fairly. Man to man, or man to robot. Okay. Oh dear. Oh, maybe I should snipe him to finish him off. There we go. All objectives complete. Now what? Now what do I do? I win. Great. Okay, well that was fun. Um, what I, I really like the fact that the controls are so smooth. Like, I've got to say, like sometimes 
it can be tempting to kind of try and overdevelop something but fail to get the basics right but that felt really fun and enjoyable to play i wouldn't put the um i wouldn't put the sniper rifle right in front of you when you start the game because it just seems a bit redundant but like you're gonna get it anyway why don't you just start to play with it or put it further away so you have to go and find it but and also the, the, the relevance of it I'm, I'm not sure it was that useful i find the pistol was probably the better weapon because you could fire more rapidly um unless of course the sniper rifle did more damage but there was no real re visual representation of that in the game like if i could see you know a health bar on top of all the enemies um, and then see how much damage the sniper rifle took but sometimes it would kill them in one hit sometimes it wouldn't which detracted from me wanting to use it because i feel like if it wasn't going to kill them first time guaranteed for example through like a, a well-placed headshot if robots have heads then i felt like it was more of a risk just to alert them to where i was so i figured just going in all guns blazing was probably the better option and ultimately more satisfying because the sounds um were great and it really made me want to click the shoot button so well done i really enjoyed that game thanks for submitting it okay next up we have defending ours land which looks like a bit of a tower defense game um, made for the mixon game jam 2020 in 48 hours Mixing genres. The game is a deck building, turn based tower defense game. Objective Defeat all the sci fi invaders before they reach your castle. Why do we have a medieval style castle and sci fi invaders? Is that part of the mixing genres? Because it feels like you wouldn't really get a medieval castle in a place where sci fi people, unless of course maybe space invaders are attacking. The world back in medieval times. I don't know, why am I judging? Enemies come in waves, as they do. You get some preparation time before each wave, good to know. Instructions work, uh, game work in turns, player, enemies, defense forces. Okay, I'm confused. On each turn you can move, click on the player to enable the move action, then click again where you want to. Take one of the following actions use a card oh god it's getting confusing already click a card to use it right click to cancel magic cards affect the shown area and are returned to your deck building cards are placed on top on the on the map and do not return to your deck this is all going over my head by the way i really hope there is a gentle learning curve use the shop i love to go shopping i am a consumer can you use the shop to buy oh you can use the, the shop to buy new cards sell one of the cards in your hand or upgrade one of the cards in your hand okay um, you can skip the rest of your turn at any time by pressing the skip button extra info God, there's so much info walls and spikes can only be placed see this uh, well, uh, I've already forgotten what the first bit was so I'm gonna give it a play and I'm gonna see if I can pick it up as I go along my advice would be put in some very, very easy, basic, playable tutorials because I learn from doing, I think most people learn from doing, like reading that, yeah, give me a kind of idea, but I, I don't know, I'm going to forget a lot of this, I'm not going to lie, start, okay, so there's no music on the title screen, you should add some in, okay, where can I go, so it's <clears throat> movement left one, actions left one. Okay, so what do I do? I click on the guy. I've clicked on him. Now, do I arrow key? Did it tell me? Okay, I click somewhere. I can't move, but I can action. Okay, archer tower. Well, that sounds like a good thing to buy. Let's get that. Um, there. No? There, there, can I put it? Oh, I put it there. So I can't put it here? Do I have to put it over here? So I've got one movement turn. What's the point in moving? Where can I move? Let's just buy another one. Burns around the tower. Burns around the tower. So I put it on top of that one. It seems to be... Oh no, I can put it here. Is that white zone where this thing's going to be effective? Because if it is, I feel like I put that in the wrong place. Movement turns. Let's go over... Oh, I can go within that red space. Okay. I've still got another go. Slow enemies. OK. 
I put it there. Move. Let's go here. I don't know why. Stop enemies until destroyed. Well, that sounds useful. And that should probably go here. Why can't I put it there? Where can I put it? Oh, I put it there. It seems a bit random. I can't put it in certain places, but I can in others. Oh, and I can still move. Let's go here. It shoots like no tomorrow spikes. Well, I want one of those. Uh, let's put it. Can I put it there next to the wall? Will that be effective? Is that worth it? Well, how about in front of the wall? Let's put it there. Movement turns one left. But why? I don't get it. Why? Why do I need to move around? Slows enemies. Let's put it there. Movement one one turn. We'll go over here. Okay, so here are things coming in now. Right. So they're no, they don't just run around by themselves like a tower defense. Well, it wouldn't be, I suppose, because we're mixing genres. Um, wall. There. It's weird. I can only put it in certain places. Movement. I, there's no need for me to move. I, I guess I could, it said I could skip it, so why don't I just skip it? Teleportation teleports you whenever you click. Um, shoots like no tomorrow. Let's put spikes in. Let's go there. Let's skip. I want to see what happens when they start touching my stuff. Nothing seems to have happened. Wall. Nope, 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 nope. I don't get it. Oh, I can put it up there. Okay, skip. I want to see what this thing does. Teleports you. So I can get teleported there. Oh, okay, so I have to use it. What's happening? Why isn't this thing shooting at these guys? Let's go to the shop. Buying. Burns around the tower. Level one. Buy. What did I buy? I think I need to read the instructions again because I'm confused. Let's go back down. Let's go down. Objective, defeat all the sci-fi invaders before they reach the castle. Okay, that, that's that's pretty understandable. I get that. They're moving around the road. They're going to try and get to the castle. Um, game works, player, enemies, defense forces. On each turn, you can click on the player to enable the move action. Then click again when you want to move. Yeah, but why? Why would I want to do that? Take one of the following actions. Use a card, click it. Right click to cancel, magic cards, the building cards, use the shop, walls and spikes will be replaced on the road. Yeah, but not everywhere on the road because it wouldn't let me. Towers can be replaced on the grass. You can only place buildings up to a certain range from the player. Okay, so that's why it's useful to know where the player is and be able to move the player. It would be handy to have that as a, rep a visual representation. Each magic card has its own range. Fires metal pot arrows. Spells. Yeah, it's so confusing. I feel like you should just do a really basic first level where you just learn to use a couple of these things. Uh, I've got one movement left. Let, well, let's move there. Okay, something happened over here. This thing... Okay, so it was player, enemies, and then defense forces slow well let's slow them all down I don't need to move and now my defense tower should fire no I thought it was my defenses turn next fire tower burns all around the tower well let's go here because they're all in that area don't need to move and now it should work why isn't it worked or is it working their health seems to be going down um, slow. Let's slow them down again. Or are they going down because they're hitting that spike? It's all a bit... Yeah, it's all a bit confusing. Um, movement. Let's just move there. They don't seem to be losing any health. Thought it was my defenses go. Let's just skip it all. Well, they've... That health went down. I think it's when they walked over the spikes there. 
let's do slow let's slow them down I don't need to move what I want to do is put another tower somewhere around here okay, uh, let's shop let's see if I can buy one um, archer tower it shoots like no tomorrow okay good I bought one movement left let's move here now what I want to do is put my archer tower where's my archer tower why isn't it in my deck slow potion so let's slow these down as they're coming through here and then skip my turn uh, oh, here's my archer tower now good okay now I can put it here and hopefully it's gonna shoot these guys but does it only have one go that's the concern it didn't do anything this one got hit what just hit this thing um, slow let's slow these guys down again don't want to move something hit them is that my archer tower and my fire tower it would be good to kind of get an idea of which is hitting them I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep slowing them down hopefully one of these guys will die soon these guys should die when they come through my tower here how do I get those guys how do I get them okay I need to go to the shop slows enemies spikes shoots like no tomorrow burns I'm gonna buy that one don't need to move I really need to put a wall in front of these guys maybe Okay, well at least that one's gone. Teleport. I'd love to be able to teleport these guys. Why did I just do that? Wish I hadn't done that. Fire tower. Now the only thing I can do is put this one here and hopefully it gets them. But I don't think it will. I think I've lost. Yep, game over. Retry. Let me see if I can get a, a better grasp of this. I think I can give it a better go. I can only put this near to where the player is. That makes sense. So let's put it right here on the corner. And then my movement, I'm gonna go here because I wanna, I wanna start putting more things down. I wanna put another fire tower now here to get this corner. And then my movement, I wanna go up here because I wanna put another one at the top, ice wall I can put a wall here or here no see I, I don't like the way it only lets me put it in certain places because that limits my strategic ability uh, I'm gonna move here now and I'm gonna place I'm gonna go to the shop I'm gonna get another arch oh what's this shoot strong like a bull I'm gonna get one of those and I'm gonna skip because I want to put that where I am now ice tower well let's put that I want to slow them down here and then I want to put my bull my shoot my shooting bull tower here don't need to move shoots like where is it where's the one I bought I'd like to be able to put the other wall there that'd be great oh, I did it did let me put it there okay but where's my um, I'll put the spikes in front of these. Okay, I think I've got some pretty good defenses coming up here. Shoots like no tomorrow. But I bought that bolt, or did I? I've still got 500. Where is it? It's gone now. Is this just, is this just random? Oh, I can upgrade, can't I? Of course. Uh, it shoots even faster. Wall, packs, uh, resist more attacks. Well, let's upgrade the shooting one. Okay, I think I'm getting there. Spikes. But they don't shoot. That's an upgraded spike. It said it shoots faster. I don't get it. Why are they shooting? What are they shooting? I thought the towers were shooting. Okay. Look at that. That's great. That almost took all their health away. Wall. I want to put another one straight behind it. Skip. Oh, that's great. Um, ooh, I don't like these. these. These are a bit rubbish. Let's go to the shop. Let's go upgrade. I can't upgrade. Buy. Now, here we go. Ice tower. Let's go fire tower. Let's skip. 
Okay, they're coming through. Where's my fire tower? It's not there. Let's see if I can upgrade my fire tower. I can't. Um, okay, close that. Let's just, let's use the slow potion on them. And then I don't want to move, skip. Okay, ah, oh, there's my, there's my, I've got it, I can only have three at a time. See, I'm figuring all of this out. Let's put it there. Skip. Why isn't it shooting? Can you mm -hmm. shoot? Did I just do that? Fire tower. Let's put it there. And then I don't want to move, or do I? Yeah, I probably better move because I need to start defending this area over here. Um, let's go back to the shop. I think the secret is making um, making sure the shop, making sure you're in the shop spending your money because there's, there's no point having the money in the bank there. Okay, this is good. I'm doing much better. Um, slow. You, you guys need to slow down. Skip. Spikes. Again, let's just put it here. Let's keep everything... Oh, I can't put it there. Why can't I put it there? I can put it over here. Put it there. Um, okay. Skip. I feel like I've done everything I need to do. Like, I don't feel that there's any way past this. Let's go back to the shop. Let's get some more spikes. These spikes seem to be doing the trick. But I need to use these other cards first. Let's get rid of the slow before my spikes will appear in my deck. Skip, skippity skip, skip, skip. Spikes, there they are. Can't put them anywhere around there. And I don't understand why you can put them in certain places but not, other, not others, when clearly the road just goes all the way around. Um, but the more I play it and the more I get used to it, the more I think you've done a good job of mixing the two styles together. I just think some things could be a little clearer and you should probably put a very simple tutorial in at the beginning with like one straight road, a couple of these guys, and then prompts that say, right, click this card, put it here, this is what it does. Um, slow potion. You guys just slow down, just chill out, relax. There's no rush to get through this death valley of things I've put here. Like, you'd be safer just staying there. Don't say I didn't warn you, fellas. Now you're getting burned up. Uh, slow. Slow yourself down. Just take your time. I mean, t take a, you know, check out the scenery. Take it all in. There's no rush. Skip. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. you, you're not getting through. There's just 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 skip my way to the winning line. Like how many of them are there? And that, that'd be a good thing to have as well. Like some kind of indicator on the screen as to how many enemies are left in this wave. Um, let's buy some more stuff. And I'd like to be able to get money when I kill them. Uh, let's do a fire tower. Skip. Let's use the slow. Is that a is that a cat with a shopping basket? Maybe that's the boss. The boss of all of these robot things. See, I'd like to be able to put something over here just to reinforce my... Oh, that could be... De Look at that. That would be deadly, wouldn't it? Should I put that there? I think I should. Like, There's just no way. Nobody can get past here. Like, give it up, guys. Like, seriously. Like, you get to these spikes and it's game over. Let's just slow you down, little Miss Kitty Cat. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting to push the skip button. That should be automated. Okay, I'm going to teleport because I want to get a, a better view of this whole shenanigans. Alright, come on then, Kitty Cat. Walk over to my fire tower. Cat, oh, wait a minute, you brought your friends? Okay, well, I was only having a joke. Uh, shop. Archer level. Oh no, let's upgrade. I can't upgrade. Okay, I need to buy and then I can upgrade it. Let's do that. I'm not worried about um, putting anything else down. I do need to make room for it. 
Like, there's no way. I mean, I don't care how many kitty cats you bring. You're not getting through my Death Valley. It's just not going to happen. Okay, so I've got my card that I just bought. There it is. So now if I go to the shop, I can upgrade it. Is that right? It is right. Archer level 2 shoots even faster. Good. Upgraded. You're getting burned up there, kitty cat. You're getting a little hot under the collar. Oh, look at that. That's, that's beautiful. You go there. Skip it. Mm, bye. I've got 174 left. Um, bye. Let's get this one. Skip. That cat was... These cats are no match for my towers. Let's get rid of the slow. And then you've got these guys back again. So are these a stronger version? I feel like you could have a little bit more variety in the enemies. And I keep forgetting to hit skip. Okay, let's upgrade that. Oh, we do get money back for killing them. Okay, I'm upgrading this. There's just no way. Like, they can't get past this. I'm just, I'm too powerful. I, I'm going to upgrade it again. I wonder what that looks like. And if I can put it down at the beginning here, there's just, there's just no chance. Let's upgrade it again. I can upgrade the archer tower. Let's do that. I can't. Oh, it's not letting me do it. Okay, well, let's put this level two. Whoa. Look at the size of that. That is beautiful. Let's go right there. Let's just overkill this entire area. See you later, fellas. It is game over for you guys. I can just skip my way to the end now. Is this the final wave? Nope. Is there another wave? There's no need to buy anything else. Skip, skip, skip. Skip, skip, skip. Is that it? Have I done? Have I won? Skip. 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 Oh, here they go. So I would definitely suggest maybe focusing a little bit more on pacing. Because I've got to a stage now where I'm just skipping my way through them because I I mean there's only so there's only so much more power I can attain. Victory! Next level. Let's give it a quick try. I don't want to spend too much time on it because I don't like not knowing how long the levels are. But let's see if it's any different. Okay, it's just a different road. I don't like how these cards now block part of the road. That should be in a separate bit, I think. Um, Archer Tower. I just want to give it a quick try and see if there's anything new here. Movements left. One. Let's move over here. Because I think the, the, the secret is I'm going to hit them hard as soon as they get in. Okay, I can still place that tower down. No, I think I'm going to skip. If I skip my go, do I get two next time? That would be good if I could. Because then I can pick a nine and get one. Okay, well, let's go over here. At least now I can put my archer tower down. Oh, no, oh, no it's the same again. It's the same. Let's move over here. Put my wall. Let's block them right there. Spikes again, perfectly placed right in front of the wall. Same strategy as last time. And the music stopped. Have I played for so long? The music has now ended. Put another arch tower on the other side. Yep. Uh, I need spikes. I've got 500 again. Where are my spikes? Yeah, the text doesn't quite line up on these. I don't like not being able to pick. Um, I just have to select from what's available. So we'll go with another archer tower. My other wall can fit nicely in there. Don't need to move. Okay, guys, hit them hard. Let's just slow you guys down. Why can't I move this around? So it seems to be just stuck over there. We'll just skip him. How did he get through my wall? Ice. Okay, we'll put ice at the beginning to slow everyone down. 
Okay, they seem to be breaking through my defenses. Um, shop, archer, skip. Shop, archer, skip. They're not dying when they get hit now. Have I broken the game? The sound has stopped. The enemies are annoyed. They're mad at me. Nothing else seems to work. I think I'm going to leave it there because nothing is working. Slows don't work. I can't select them. I can't teleport. All I can do is watch the slow demise of my medieval castle from these advancing sci-fi robot monsters. But it was okay. I, I, I think for a game jam game, I think you did good. You've mixed the genres quite well together. I just think it needs a bit more explanation at the beginning um, as to what uh, things do. I did have to figure a lot out. Although I did figure it out, and I'm not the smartest person in the world, so maybe it is about right. Pacing's a little off, I think. Uh, I, wait, I was waiting around a lot for these things to come through, especially when I got really powerful at the end of level one. Like, I felt level one probably went on a bit too long. You could have probably broken that down a little bit, maybe a few waves, and then added a few more. And you definitely need some more variety in the enemies, even for a game jam game. Like, have like three, four, five different types of enemies that come through and make them different strengths. These guys obviously seem a lot more powerful, but I don't know if that's because there's a glitch and I can't effectively kill them, um, or whether they are just more powerful, but they're, they're quite close um, together here as well. You could space those out a little bit. I don't know if they're just spawning randomly on top of each other, but maybe a little bit more thought into where they spawn in and move would make it a little prettier. Uh, the text-wise, you could use kind of nicer fonts. and I would definitely have a look into color theory because the orange over here, over the green, just, it, it don't work. It, it looks, it doesn't look very attractive to my eye. Um, use kind of complementing colors or things that contrast a little bit better. Uh, and there's a lot of different colors here as well. Like you've got the reds, which is quite bright um, uh, as kind of an obnoxious red. Then you've got the blues in the castle. Then you've got your pinks and purples. And then you've got your oranges with your black. I think you could make the whole um, aesthetics of the game a lot nicer with a little bit of um, attention to detail just with the colors alone I think that would be you know a really good kind of start and the, the art style as well you've got this big blocky pixel art thing here which is obviously the areas that you can move but then the sprites you know it's a completely different resolution altogether again um, and then you've got these the detail on the towers is very inconsistent with the blocks here which is kind of a little bit more like a Mario block but you know a little bit of detail like that but I appreciate the game was made in 48 hours so maybe I'm being overly critical um, but I enjoyed it for what it was it mixed the genres together quite well I had fun killing all of these things at the beginning although when I got too powerful it did get boring pretty quickly so again have a look at that but overall nice solid game jam game thanks for submitting it I had fun playing it uh, and let's move on to the next one next up we have Chiron Mining Co the arcade classic Asteroids Reimagined by Will to Power. Welcome to the Chiron Mining Company. With the support, with the support of your companions Royce, or is that Hoyce? Royce and Kara, mine asteroids and earn credits. But try not to die in the process. Pretty much what happens every time I go to work every day. I try and earn credits and not die. Each new level uh, adds beguiling new challenges and powerful new upgrades for your ship okay so it's a bit of a mixed bag you know you could get powerful upgrades but you might die so you know pick your poison controls a rotate left d rotate right w thrust space fire number pad one two three use special upgrades this playable demo includes eight levels i'm working to create more and your feedback is invaluable please leave comments and suggestions i will let's play Will to Power Studios. Music on off. Well, let's leave it on because we like a bit of background music. Chiron Mining Company established 2142. Wow. This company doesn't even exist yet. Uh, I like it though. Nice little title screen. Looks very nice. Um, I like the buttons. These are very good. Controls, credits. I know the controls. A, D, W, thrusting, space barring, one, two, three. I get it all. Let's play. Let's play the game. Right, here we go. Who's this guy? Welcome to Chiron, kid. It's probably the most godforsaken spot in the solar system, but you can get rich here pretty quick. Well, I'm all about get rich quick schemes. If you don't die in the process, it's pretty simple. Blast asteroids, gather the resources, and return to the ship 
when you've met your target. Mission objective, gather 50 gold and then return to the ship. And already this is ticking a lot of boxes for me because I have a very simple objective. I know exactly what I've got to do. I know how long the level is going to be. Great start. I really like it. Okay, here we go. Okay, so here we go. It's definitely, yep, yeah, asteroids. I really feel the ship could turn a lot quicker. I feel like I'm going to need... Oh, hello. That's what I need. I need some of this. Gather resources. Ten. Oh, God. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Yeah, the, let the ship rotate much faster. Because... Oh, goodness me. As soon as you make a tiny little error, then you've overshot and you've got to go back. Or maybe I'm just being a little bit too overzealous on the controls. Goodness me. Turn around, turn around, go forward. Go down, pick up the gold. Jeez, that is difficult. Move up, get out of the way of that asteroid. Oh dear. Okay. I like it. I gotta say, so far, good impressions. The only thing is that the ship speed, but we may find more. Get that thing. I hope I don't die. I don't wanna let everybody down. Okay, go, 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 go. Turn around, turn around. gold i've got 41 what did i need to get 50 was it 50 gold or 50 resources i can't remember get out of the way oh goodness me that was lucky okay i, I want to see if i get, if i can get 50 gold get the iron i'm sure i'm going to need iron just stop spinning around Nice. Right, can we just pick up some resources, please? Okay, here we go. Mission achieved. I've got the gold. Now I've got to go back. Where is back? Oh, D. <laughs> that was close. If I get more, does that mean I need to get less next time? Um, it would be nice to have some kind of a compass. I mean, I'm in a, I'm in a, a spaceship. What's that? Where am I going? Oh, the outside of the level? I didn't realize space had boundaries. What? That seems unfair. I feel that when you when you do so well as to complete the level, I don't really feel like it should be an absolute mission to get back to the ship to start the next level. I feel like there should be a bit of a helping hand with like big pointy arrow this way. Let's restart. Yeah, 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 I heard what you had to say last time. It's a godforsaken place. Okay. Because um, you don't even start with the ship. Hold on a minute. What's that red thing over there? Is that where I, is that an indicator of where I need to go? Is that red thing? Is that red circle telling me I need to go that way? I don't know. But it'd be nice if you started on the ship. And then you could kind of venture out into space and then go collect things and if you had like a little mini map it could say like if you head over in this direction there's a big asteroid field or if you oh you you oh. yeah 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 i don't like having to see that guy every time Gee, that was close and those things when you when you blow them up that those bigger or smaller asteroids they respawn or they spawn in like sometimes directly on top of you Damn, these controls are going to get really infuriating. Go, go, go. Got it. 12. Whoa. And I think going fast is definitely not going to help you. Look at all this space mist. Okay, there's my ship. So it was a little red dot that tells me where to go. But I think you should start there. Like, when you come out, like, why would you start right out in the middle of nowhere? Like, you're just talking to a guy, presumably on that thing, and then you start the level and you're miles away from the ship. Like, you should have to venture out to find this stuff. And I think when you first venture out from the ship, I don't think you should see these things, these asteroids. I think you should have to go find them. And I think there should be like a little mini map that says asteroid field this way, or there's a moon over here. Um, or whatever the case may be. 
You know when you do you ever used to did you ever play um, Wing Commander on the Super Nintendo? Oh Jesus, get out of here! Get out of the boundaries of space. Um, that game was great because it gave me a real sense of being out in the universe because I would leave the ship at the beginning of the level, go out into space, and then there'd be checkpoints. Although effectively all I was looking at was a black screen full of stars. It really gave me the sense that I was moving around in space because there was a little map and I had to go to checkpoints, and then there might be an asteroid field that I'd bump into, but I could anticipate it because it would be on the map labelled. I think you could do something with that, that would be quite nice. Cheek. But sort the sort, sort the little spaceship out. I'm not going to travel too far from the ship because when I collect everything I need, I don't want to be too far away. God, just go get it. It's right there. I got it. Okay, so it's it's 50 gold I need to get. But why am I only getting iron? Is it randomised? Right. Why can't I get gold? It's just iron again. Aha! Are, are the gold ones a different colour? Is that a gold one? Is that a gold one? Get the gold. Got it. Ten. Run away from asteroids. Go get this gold. Got it. Mission complete. Do not get killed. Do not be getting killed. Okay, and there's the tractor beam that's going to pull me in, is it? Nice. A bit loud. But I get it. Mission objectives. Gold 50, iron 0, cobalt 0, payout. Gold 34, iron 118. Yeah, that goes on a little bit long. Those numbers could scroll down in uh, you know, a fifth of that time, I think. And then I've got to go back and use the mouse again. Like, you don't use the mouse in the whole game, and then you've got to go in and use it for the menus. You could have just like enter, push enter, or push spacebar to continue. Not bad. We might make a pilot of you yet. Yeah, let's see what else you got. Well, I wouldn't hold your breath there, buddy, because uh, I'm not that good. Mission objective, gather 50 iron and then return to the ship. Okay, now I'm in a different space. Why is it now purple? Isn't space the same? But it's iron on the shopping list this time. My good looking friend with dark hair is asking me for iron, so I will get the iron. Get it. I'm just trying to be so particular. What did I get? Iron. That blue thing, right? That's co Is that cobalt? Oh dear. <laughs> See, I overshot it again. Like, you don't want, like, you don't want, like, the majority of the level to be just overcorrecting on mistakes, like, because that's not fun. So, definitely fix this control ship. Make him rotate faster. There we go. I've got it. What did I get? Cobalt. We need iron. I like how this, the asteroids can bounce into each other. But they should explode. Like when, like instead of bouncing off in different directions, they should explode when they hit each other. Get it? Don't go that. Get. Get. Get, get away from me. Get the iron. Get it. Get the iron. Got it. Now I need more iron. There's a bit of iron. Get the iron. Tiny little, tiny little thrusts. Hardly anything, just, just a little dab. Okay, well, as is here, I may as well collect the gold. I mean, if you walk past a lump of gold on the street, you pick it up, right? As it's here. I don't know if it gives me any relevance, like, at the end. Do I do I get more gold? Do, does it register when I get to the end? Presumably it does, because it was adding up all my other stuff, so... What a shot that was. Make a pilot of me, yeah, eh? Oh dear. Don't go past the go don't go past the iron. Got it. Now I'll return to the ship. So where's my little red thing? Down in the bottom right. Oh jeez. 
Jeez, 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 don't kill yourself now. Okay. I don't like being too fast because it's difficult to overcorrect, uh, or sorry, correct yourself if you're going too fast. Although I had to push it there. Okay, good, I'm on a roll, I'm on a roll. Credits, 348 gold, minus 45. Why did I get minus 45 gold? I don't understand. I don't understand the credit system. Just pay me, pay me for my work. Oh, a new face for you. My name is Kara. I handle the tech around here. You'll notice a new button on your interface that will allow you to access upgrades for your ship for a price. Those credits you've been collecting, you can use them to purchase upgrades. Trust me, you'll need them. Well, I don't doubt you at all, Kara, because it is hell out there, let me tell you. Mission objective, fabbing all this tech. What does fabbing mean? Fabbing all this tech requires materials. Once you're done tricking out your ship, Go out and get some cobalt. 50 should do. Upgrade. Let's see what upgrades. Is it me or does that look like a chicken? That looks like a chicken, right? Comment below. A chicken holding a water balloon. Or a bottle of something. Um, weapon. The, the kind of chicken's hat. Sensor. Could be a new beak. Hull is definitely a wing. And then uh, that's where the egg comes out. Okay, I've got nothing to select. Right, okay, here we go. Thrusters. I've got 400, 429 credits. Available upgrades, enhanced thrusters. Right, okay, this is what I was talking about in the beginning. So, presumably, it's it's by design that you go out there and it's a 50-50 coin flip whether you crash into an asteroid. But you play and you can then upgrade and become better. Very clever. Um, I'm going to go and buy maneuverability because I was maneuvering out there like a pig. Buy it, and I've got it, and I can afford more stuff. Yeah, let's well, let's get it all. I mean, did I get that? Oh, what did I buy two for? Okay, reinforced hull increases my durability, but I get hit once and I'm dead. Does that mean I can analyze asteroids material content better? That's good because then I can know what's inside all of the blocks. That's 500 credits, so I can't afford that. Okay, fine. I get it. I like it. I like the upgrade system. Right, let's start. Where am I? Here I am. Well, that's unfair, isn't it? I shot it, and then the, the asteroid just spawned on top of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I have to upgrade again? Enhanced thrusters. What do they do again? What's the difference between those? Enhanced thrusters increases acceleration. I don't need that. I want maneuverability. But I lost one of the thrusters. Anyway. It's good now I can... This is exactly what I wanted. I can spin around so much faster. Good um, good job putting that in. And again, that's... that's Nah, they should... No, I don't like that at all. I better not have lost that upgrade. No. Why doesn't it always default me to the thrusters? Like when when they when you shoot one, they spawn out so far away from the original thing. It should spawn on top, and then um, and then drift out in all directions. It shouldn't spawn away from the original asteroid. Blimey, you need to slow down, fella. I need cobalt. I need the blue stuff. That's what I need. Is it 50 that she wanted? My friend Kara wanted 50 of this. I feel like I need gold as well. Have I have I got it already? Was that just a really... Oh, jeez, get out of the way. And again, yeah, I shoot it and it just spawns on top of me. But you need to fix that. This is a gold one, obviously. It's going to be gold all day. That looks like a gold one. It's got like a yellowy kind of tinge to it. Slow down, buddy. Where do you think you're going? I don't get too overzealous there. Now where's all my stuff? Like <laughs> rums. Okay, let's try it again. Upgrade me. Maneuverability. It should remember my what's going on. Am I in some kind of an asteroid storm? Is this a bug or is this part of the level? Restart it. 
upgrade me. Give me the maneuverability. Return. Start. Okay, that's better. That was a, a weird thing that just happened. Uh, right. Hello? Anybody here? Yeah, <laughs> there's just no way to get out of the way. There is no way to get out of the way. Oh, I've still got it. I, I didn't need to select it, did I? It seems like it's still remembered it. Is this the bottom of the universe? It is. I want that. Is it cobalt that I want? It was, wasn't it? I'm still on that bit. I remember I did it and then I died. Get out. Oh, that was close. I'll take the gold though while it's here. Oh, the cobalt is floated into the world. It floated into the available universe. Ten. Got it. Missed it. Everything is so far away from me. 76. Is that totally randomised then, how much you get when you pick it up? Because they all look the same size to me. I need to not be floating out at that speed. Cobalt. Give me some. Just 10 again. Jeez, that nearly spawned on top of me as well. Yeah, that is not a that is not a good thing. Get the iron. Come here, moon rocks. Yeah, I got crashed it again. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna leave it there because uh, I get I get the game. It's very good. I like it. There's a lot of good things, a lot of positives. I noticed there was eight levels at the beginning. I think I got to level two, but I get the concept of what you're going for, and it's fun to play. There's a few little thing glitches or bugs that you need to take a look at. What with the asteroids flying all over the place a minute ago. I love the upgrade system because the beginning I thought if I was stuck with that ship with its controls for the entire time. That was just not going to work for me, but I, I like the fact that you can actually have some influence over it. The biggest bugbear in the whole thing was these asteroids. When you shoot them, they spawn in smaller versions, obviously, to simulate the fact they're breaking up. But those smaller parts, they need to spawn exactly where the first asteroid was and then slowly um, move out into different directions. Because when they spawn away from it, you just get hit and it seems really, really unfair. And then you've got to go and start the whole thing again. But other than that, a lot of promise. Um, I really like it. If you develop it further, let me know. Um, but yeah, thanks for submitting it. And uh, I'm going to leave it right there. If you want to submit your game, then there is a link in the description and in the comment section. I'll pin it at the top. Just click the link, submit your game. Um, I play games of all levels, all skills, all developer levels. So don't worry if, it, if you think the game is too uh, easy. Uh, if it's your first game, if it's a game jam game, it doesn't matter. If you want some feedback and you want me to play on my channel, just submit it. Once it's submitted, it will join the queue and I will get around to it. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss when your video comes out. I usually post the videos once a week that I play your itch games, um, but it does vary depending on what other stuff I've got going on. If you've made it this far, thanks for sticking around and I will see you in the next one.